because I'd had the flu and I thought it was just an after effect of the flu. I woke up Monday and I couldn't move my jaw. <laughs> and so we thought it was the ear infection and it moved into my cheek. All these women have one thing in common and it's not all in their head. It's called TMJ. TMJ syndrome is a family of disorders that involves the uh, temporal mandibular joint or the jaw joint. Dr. Emil Verbin of Bloomington has been treating patients with TMJ for over five years and has treated over 500 people who have had varying degrees of this problem. Just who are the victims? An estimation that approximately anywhere from 25 to 75 percent of the American public suffers from this disorder. But uh, one thing is in agreement concerning it is that approximately 80% of the people who do suffer from this problem are females. The TMJ syndrome involves the temporal mandibular joint or the jaw joint, which is actually a pair of joints that connects the lower jaw to the skull. These joints are located right in front of the ear. So it's the person's bite that determines whether or not the pair of joints function properly as one. If the joint is not healthy, there is pain and symptoms can result. A good test for someone to see whether or not they have a, a good functioning TMJ joint is to put your little finger in your ear and open and close. And if you feel a click or pop when you open or close, that means that the alignment of the joint is not working correctly. There is a mechanical obstruction in there. Uh, the relationship of the, the ball and socket type of the joint is not functioning correctly. Hello, Kathy. How are you? Fine. Fine. Well... Tell me about your problem. Well, um, I seem to wake up in the morning feeling really out of focus. Mm -hmm. um, Have you seen anybody about headaches that? headaches every day. I saw my eye doctor. I thought maybe I needed a change in um, my uh, eye prescription. He said my eyes were fine. You know, mm -hmm. my prescription hadn't changed. Mm -hmm. um, there is a laundry list of symptoms, um, chronic headaches, uh, neck aches, sometimes back pain, uh, dull facial pain. What I'm going to do is, is press on some various muscles here, and I just want you to tell me if it's if it's tender or not when okay. I press on these muscles, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I don't want to hurt you here, okay? How about here? Is that tender there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right there? How about here? Mm-hmm. Is, is it more tender over here? It seems to be a little bit more on the right side. A little bit more on the yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What about here? After a consultation with the patient, and it is determined that she does indeed have TMJ, her treatment process begins. First, an impression or mold of the patient's teeth is taken. Then Dr. Bourbon makes other impressions, and coupled with a series of x-rays, is able to determine the exact alignment problem. The treatment is not the same for everyone. The key is the diagnosis. You must, treat, you must diagnose the problem correctly before you can treat it. An appliance, made from the impressions taken, is designed for each patient, along with wearing instructions. The patient also learns daily exercises and experiences the electrical pulsator, which helps their muscles to relax. Okay, now that you know some of the symptoms and what the treatment process involves, one thing is not to be confused. Just because you have headaches, back pain, or your bite is bad, it doesn't mean you have TMJ. You know, like the old rock in the shoe trick where you don't stop to take the rock out of the shoe and now your ankle's bothering you. There was nothing wrong with your ankle, it was the rock in the shoe. So if TMJ is that rock, then you can have the problems with the back. Really the biggest contributing factor to the whole problem is stress is the biggest contributing factor. Just as we don't know which came first, the chicken or the egg, we don't know which came first, TMJ or the symptoms. Many people don't care which came first as long as their pain syndrome is treated. About 85% of TMJ patients are women. Stress, again, is the biggest agitator in the problem. If you think you may have TMJ, check with your dentist.